Hi, my name is Ian Heron. I work for the Department of the Interior's Bureau of Land Management. A couple months ago, we made a video. We talked about how to become a wildland firefighter. I work in diversity and inclusion programs as well as recruitment and retention. And I wanted to shed light on how to become a wildland firefighter. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a behind the scenes look at how to become a wildland firefighter by first taking the pack test. As you can see at the Wildlife Refuge Center here in Patuxent, Maryland, the line for the Team Rubicon training is down the hallway. It's pretty amazing. You have so many people here uh, looking and wanting to become wildland land firefighters. It's amazing. You too can also become a wildland firefighter. Just come on out. You can actually find several uh, locations where Team Rubicon, if you're a military service person, and or other firefighter, uh, wildland firefighter, fighter training um, programs uh, in your area. So come out and take a look. So we have Rodney here with us from Eastern States, uh, BLMer. Rodney, why did you come here to the Team Rubicon Firefighter Training Program? Uh, today presents a lot of opportunities for me, future-wise. I always wanted to be a firefighter since age seven. And opportunities are alive and I have a lot of to get involved and kind of make a difference. I'm interested in the smoke jumper and doing some recruitment along the way. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, bring some diversity to, to the organization. So, that's my spot. So, Clayton and Roddy, y'all ready to take the pack test? We're going to knock it out. What, 45 pounds, three miles? So Rodney, you just finished the pack test. Damn, wait till that <laughs> So what do you have to tell the BLM? Other people who think that you know they couldn't possibly take the pack test. Jogging makes it better. Jogging makes it better. Hey, we just finished the pack test here at Patuxent Research Base, and we have here with us Madam Secretary Jewel. We're so excited. We wanted to talk to her a little bit about her thoughts on diversifying and ensuring that we reflect the face of America in our fire and aviation communities. Secretary, would you have anything to, to add to that? Well, first, congratulations, guys. We all finished <laughs> the pack test and under the required time, which means we could qualify as firefighters, although I'd rather these guys were fighting a fire uh. than me. But I'd rather there were a lot more people like these guys and more women out on the fire lines because these are America's public lands that we protect. This is Patuxent National Wildlife Refuge and Research Center. And it's very close to Baltimore, it's very close to Washington, D.C., and yet the people that come out and enjoy these spaces do not reflect the community that is so close by. And that's true for a lot of our public lands. We've got great jobs in public lands, like firefighters, yes, like uh, aviation, like heavy equipment operators, like dispatchers yes, that don't have to do this crazy pack test mm -hmm. that we just did. <laughs> but we don't reflect in the firefighting and aviation community the face of America. And so I really appreciate what you guys are doing to make sure that uh, you become the face of the BLM, you become the face of public land managers, and you inspire other people to come out and do this work. So yes, keep it up. And Thank you very much. All right.